If you want to know how you can make a meteor shower in Roblox, just like this one, where meteors fall out of the sky and you get killed whenever you touch them, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel called Newbie. And in this tutorial, we will be making a Roblox meteor shower. And that means that whenever a player joins the game, uh, a ton of meteors will fall out of the sky, and then when they touch you, uh, they, uh, well, well, you will die, basically. You die, and then you can kind of, like, make it into a mini game, or, like, escape the meteor shower, or whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the tutorial today, so if you are excited, and if you do like this video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell to never miss out on any video I publish. And um, if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below, uh, next to the subscribe button, and just read everything, no, no refunds. Um, so that's basically all that I wanted to say. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all, we need a Meteor Mesh. So to do that, we are going to go just to Models, and we will type Meteor, because we need a Meteor. So let's, um, in my testing game, I took this one, and then I took this one with the fire effect in it. So just get a, just get a random Meteor and put a fire in it if you want. Uh, I believe a normal fire is way smaller, though. Yeah, a normal fire is uh, around 9. Yeah, it's really small. So just make sure uh, you set it to 15, and you're good to go. So before we do anything, let's rename this to Meteor. And let's add in a script. Uh, because we got to code something. And we'll make it so when you touch it, you die. So let's do that first by saying uh, local local players is the game. Call it get service players. And then uh, we need um, to know whenever the part has been touched. So script dot parent dot touched gonna connect function, and we need an object. We need something to touch it, which is in this case the object. So if object dot parent colon find first child humanoid, then so without uh, without continuing for a second, let me explain what we're doing. Over here, we are requiring the player's service. Over here, we're detecting if something has touched it, uh, touched it along with this end. And over here, we're checking if the object has a humanoid. And the only thing that has a humanoid in a Roblox game with nothing else is the player. Because if you have, like, NPCs or something, they also have a humanoid. And they can also die, but that's not my problem. Uh, but if uh, we do find a player touching it, we, have, we can just give it a variable, local player. Is equals to players, so uh, watch out. Local player is equals to players colon get player from character object dot parent. So now the object that touched it is defined as the player, and then all we gotta do is let the player die. So player dot character dot humanoid colon well uh, dot health is x to zero. We'll just set their health to zero, so even if they have like a million, trillion, quadrillion HP, they will still die. So this is the first script in your meteor. So let's put the meteor into server storage, as you can see, let's put it in server storage. And now let's create a script in server script service. So let's insert a script. We'll call this the server. And then this one, we can call the kill, kill script because the, the script kills the player. So now, in our server script, we need to do um, something a little bit difficult at the start. First of all, you need to go to the edges of your map. So in this case, it's around here, and from my uh, knowledge, that is a thousand, this is a thousand by a thousand studs, uh, so it's not that hard for me, but if you want to know, you can click, uh, you can just uh, click on the part, and then you can get the position over here. You can uh, Command C or whatever it is, Control C. I don't know Mac. And you can do local bottom right corner is equals to vector three dot new, and you can put the position in. Uh, so this is your bottom right position, and then to the exact uh, the exact opposite of the map, you need to place 
the other. So which is around here. As you can see, the other part is way over there. You cannot even see it. And then this one, for example, has these coordinates. So local top left corner is x to vector 3 dot new. That. So once you got these positions, you can simply delete the parts. You don't need them anymore. You just need them for like ge geograph, uh, geographical purposes, whatever it is. So basically that. Before we do uh, do that, we need the player's service uh, again. And actually, no, we don't. We don't need the player's service. I am incorrect. We just need a local random is equals to random dot new tick. You just need to type that random dot new tick. Now we need a local function gr of uh, mi and ma. So we got local function get random of the minimum and the maximum. So return, and we are going to return random colon next number of minimum and maximum. Like that. Uh, we do not need to do anything um, hard. Over here, you need to type wall true do task dot wait. So you got Walter do task and wait and just push it down. And now we got local meteor is equals to and then at the top over here you need to type local server storage is equals to game. Call that get service server storage. And what that does, uh, if server storage does not exist whenever you play the game, then we uh, the game will create it for you. Uh, and in that case, server storage dot meteor colon clone. We need to clone a meteor uh, because we need a bunch of them and you can only do that by cloning them. Um, so that's what we did. Now, uh, meteor that can collide is equal to false. This is customizable though. If you set it to true, the meteors will land on your map. But if you set it to false, they will go straight through your map. Now we need meteor dot position is equals to vector three dot new. And this is a little bit difficult. You need to type gr top left corner dot x and then uh, then you need the bottom right corner dot x so that is basically for example uh, this line is x as you can see this is x and this is z or z uh, so that is the first coordinate um, for the height for the height uh, I recommend like a thousand and then a comma and gr top left corner dot z and bottom right corner dot z and after that you need to set the uh, the parent i mean and that is uh, meteor dot parent six to workspace because they will fall out of the map uh, eventually and that gives us time um, well you won't lag out so if we play the game we should immediately see a bunch of meteors going down. And that is actually true. As you can see, we got a bunch of meteors falling down from the sky. And, oh, and I almost died. I almost died. So, uh, to test out the killing mechanic, I am going to give myself a bunch of speed. 500. And let's just walk to a meteor. For example, uh, this one. Yep, as you can see, I, got, I touched it and I died. And of course, it has a little bit of lag. So, uh, if you thought I died because of nothing, uh, that's just because uh, the game lagged for a second. Let me just set it to 100, because that gives me more thingies. As you can see, let's try this one over here, as you can see. Oh, I missed it. This one. Nope, I missed it too. Uh, I'm not really smart in this. For some reason, it doesn't work. Oh, this one. No, I missed it again. No. For some reason... I am not too good at this game. As you can see, that one touched me right in the face, and I died. So this is basically a small tutorial on how to make a meteor shower in your Roblox game. And if you crash when you click stop, that's pretty normal. 
Okay, well, rip my studio. And uh, this was the tutorial. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a like. Oh, hey, studio's back. Um, if you did like it, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification bell. And all I have to say is that my name is Doobie. And I say, peace out.